Welcome back to Daytime Audible here on Rogers TV. I'm your host, Derek Fage, and our next guest and the company itself looking to redefine the way people look at health and personal training and fitness in general, and here to tell us how they are doing just that. I am joined by Jenna York from LF3 Lifestyle Fitness. Jenna, welcome to the show, and let's talk a little bit about LF3 Lifestyle Fitness because you know, you've gone through a, a rebranding. Tell me about that rebrand. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so obviously the pandemic has been super tough on fitness businesses. Um, instead of dwelling on, you know, all of the shutdowns, I think we're in our fourth one now being in Ontario. I really tried to focus and double down on innovating. So our number one priority is always serving our members, making sure that we can keep them active training and with having to go online that was a huge catalyst in uh, what really made us start looking at the different things we've added so many more class styles um, bringing in this hybrid training system component we really so now with the three experience lf uh, so online we have on demand and it's the best way to lf3 in studio We really felt that we needed people know to more people have this ability to train with us anytime, any place has really opened up the accessibility of our program. We're strong believers in um, making sure that people are training with a purpose, the no BS approach to fitness that we feel everyone deserves. And now that we're coming to you live and across the country, we're in the States now with some of our members, we really felt like we did to really articulate who we are now and our focus on helping people become more stronger, healthier, resilient versions of themselves. Yeah, Jenna, what's what's the feedback been like? Because I think when a lot of people hear, oh, you know, virtual fitness and, and working out, oh my goodness, I don't know if it's for me. Um, if by the sounds of it, oh, especially, you know, you're now getting clients in the United States and so forth, by the sounds of it, it's positive feedback, but, but just uh, talk a little bit about the feedback and what your clients are saying. Yeah, so I'll be the first to admit I was very anti-online fitness. I was convinced <laughs> that it was really hard to bring very good quality fitness online just because of what I'd experienced consumer perspective. Uh, but we had no choice. In March 2020, we had to bring it online and our meta high touch, high motivation, high, accountab high, high accountability out here. And so we tried our best to recreate that experience and bring it online. Um, and the the utilization the way that we've gotten our members to adapt to this new way of training um, has been phenomenal um, you know something that we never would have considered adding to our model um, we've stuck to our core competencies and we did our best to bring those online and to just see how people are still getting online program actually goes in uh in sync or in sync with our in studio perfectly so really if you're traveling now if you're not able to do the studio five days a week you don't have to skip a beat with your training. And I think making our members really experience that for themselves and see how much they can improve during lockdown. You don't need to, you know, sit on the couch watching Netflix endlessly. Um, we are able to motivate them, are able to keep them accountable and our trainers show up for them in a live thing. And they're able to work out with their community. I, I can't been, tell you how, been pretty I can't how refreshing it is to hear somebody say and not sitting watching Netflix all day and actually getting <laughs> active. It is so refreshing because that's the conversations you seem to have with so many people. Um, let's talk about you, uh, partnerships because you have a partnership with Altea. T tell us about that partnership. Yeah, so Altea Active, we're super excited. Um, they're a social wellness club. They have two locations. Um, actually, uh, some of the founders of Movadi are now involved in this new concept. So um, they're bringing, you know, high quality, amazing, super great experience and did us to bring our business expertise into their model. So we're going to be integrating that studio experience into their uh, 90 square foot club in downtown Toronto and Liberty Village. And currently, we actually have over uh, 10,000 Altea active members in their Winnipeg club and also in their Liberty Village club training with us online in our live studio. So it's been really I, awesome to see them sorry, actually getting ahead. active and using it. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. And I know, I know <laughs> that you... 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I know that you have expansion plans as well. You've got what four locations here in Ottawa, two in the GTA, but planning on expanding as well. Yeah, so definitely with our the in studio experience, bring it to the Altea Club in Liberty Village, and then we have plans to open one in Winnipeg. Uh, we're also now with the new ways of experiencing LF3. Um, looking, at, we're actually we're actively working on a partnership with a co-working shared workspace. So the idea of bringing um, you know, workout smart fit rooms so that you can right. work, get your workout in all in a four hour time period, just making it more accessible and breaking down barriers. That's what yeah, we're, we're all about. It's a great philosophy. Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, all the best to you. Don't go anywhere. Lots more daytime coming up right after this.